Member for City Cloverdale. Uh, thank you, Honourable Speaker. Uh, the Cloverdale Rodeo and Country Fair weekend kicks off with a luncheon at the Stetson Bowl May 16th, where folks get all gussied up for the Best Dress Contest and help raise funds for the Cloverdale Rodeo Youth Initiative Foundation. The unofficial kickoff is the Cloverdale, Cloverdale Rodeo is the Cloverdale Bed Races on the evening of the 16th of May. The Bed Races, sponsored by the Cloverdale Chamber of Commerce, Cloverdale BIA, includes a children's bike parade and a skateboarding demonstration. The Bed Races include a high school men's and women's team, a mixed team, a best dressed team, and two very auspicious trophies are given to the top women's and top men's uh, categories that are referred to as the chamber pot and the bedpan. To quote the chamber uh, executive director, Scott Weekly, he says, I would be proud to display them. The first rodeo was in 1945, and this year, like in other years, begins with a parade on Saturday morning full of folks participating in the weekend of events. If you wonder what you're going to do or see at the Cloverdale Rodeo and Country Fair, well, they have five professional rodeo performances that bring competitors from all over North America, including the world-famous mutton-busting competition, where my six-year-old grandson will do his best to stay upright for eight seconds. There's an Indigenous village, live music performances, 40-plus food trucks, 30-plus carnival rides, and many other family events. Honourable Speaker, I'm pleased to mention that the province, through its fairs, festivals and events fund, was able to provide nearly $140,000 to assist with this fantastic community event. I'm sure the President, Kathy Shepard, and the Treasurer, Jen Temple, were pleased when they got this funding news. So to all that are here, come on out this May long weekend and enjoy the sights, sounds and smells of this rodeo event. Thank you.